Hey guys, what is up? I am back and I am playing GTA MC on this server and as you guys can see everything has changed. Um so I just wanted to review what has changed in this server. So I just got on a couple seconds ago and the reason this is, has been changed is because it's New Year's Eve. Um like a couple of minutes ago it was like the regular GTA MC and then I died and then I respawned and I came back here. I was like, what the heck happened to this place? So, I wanted to review what has happened to the place. So, first off, they have moved the bank from down there to up here. So, you can quickly access everything. And I don't think anything has changed in the general rules, chat rules, or pretty much approved mods. I don't think anything has changed. But for sure, parkour has changed quite a lot. As you guys can see, um, it's actually fully functional now. Unlike the other one, someone like broke it and you can get all the way to the top. I'm horrible at parkour, so there's no way I am making it to the top. Or I could just do this. This is as high as you go, and you don't get anything for winning. Like, literally anything. You just get a very nice view of the whole entire town. It's very nice. Um, also, oh, this was just closed like a couple seconds ago because it was night time, so finally I could review this too. So this is the gun shop, as you guys can see, nothing has changed, well, everything has changed, it, you know, the prices I think have changed, I have no idea. Prices did change. Uh... You can't buy the tier 5, so. Or you can't buy guns either? What? Yeah, you can't buy any guns. You can just only sell them. Okay. Whatever. Uh, let's go to this place. This is the cafe. <clears throat> they moved this place from down there where the bank is to over here, which was the casino. Like, both of this combined was casino. This was like the cop place, the cop shop. And then, like, this whole area, no, this area was, like, the, um, it's, like, the armor, this place, I have no idea. Oh, this was, this place was the parkour. Um, I don't know what this was last time. Oh, it was a store, but, like, there was just a bunch of signs there, so it was closed. Uh, this place, these two places combined was the bank, and that's pretty much it, so... Yeah, I want to go to this place now, the armor shop. Now, this has changed quite a lot, as you guys can see, it's all rode down. It actually shows you what you're buying, unlike last time, it didn't tell you what you, like, it didn't show you what, what you were buying, so it looks more detailed on what you're buying, which is pretty good. Also, you can come into here. Police station, they moved the police station here, so you can clear your wanted level, and port them. Oh, that's nice, rule breakers. To all you rule breakers out there, what does this say? Spawned by Drift and Maiden. Thanks for the help. Huh. I'm fabulous, I'm fabulous. Oh, would you look at that, you can actually lock people in here, I don't feel like going in there because I'm afraid someone's gonna lock me in so let's go to this place now what is this oh this is uh, the all the helpers the mods head admins and uh, the owners so as you guys know probably don't know uh, copycats and admin uh, the owners Pat P and Maz daddy um, this is the mod he created the spawn this is Mit Mitsuch, I'm sorry I'm not, if I'm not saying these names right, but he's also a mod. Um, oh, helper Decidious, and there's another helper which is not available yet. So, here's Polarex, he's also a helper. Um, Keep It Culp is also a helper. So, pretty much this row right here is helpers, right here's mods, admins, and the owners. So that's pretty much it for that place. Uh, let's go to XP. I want to know what that is. Oh, this is um, the bookshelf place. This is the bookshelf place. I thought it was going to give you XP. I'm like, what? 
So yeah. Oh. Oh, you can like trade in here with someone, I guess. Yeah, private XP throwing room. Oh, okay, there you go, private XP throwing room. So, you, so no one else takes your XP. So that's it for that place over there. Uh, here's the casino. Before it was way back there. Now it's up here. I wanna see if it actually works. No, nothing, nothing, you got nothing. 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 Oh, well, they haven't updated the casino a lot, a whole lot. I mean, before it was glitched. Now it's just a sign. So, I mean, it's a lot better than before. Uh, so, that's it for that place. Uh, what about this? Donation ranks below. Oh, this is cool. It's a nice little room. So, you can see what you're buying and what you're getting for, the, for buying it. So for the prospect is ten dollars. You get the ability to teleport or TPA to a player, or you get priority access on full servers. Uh, so you can do that on every server. You have you have access to buy a house. You do kit prospect, and you get full gold baseball bat, pay, python pistol, thirty two bullets, five stake, and two hundred dollars. If you get a third rank, which is twenty five dollars, which is in real life money, so. Don't think it's like GTA money. So, bug you can get can use lower rank perks, but not kits. You keep XP on death, as you guys can see. I'm thug, so I have 34 XP on the bottom there. Uh, kit thug, as you guys can see, I don't have access for that. For another 41 minutes, so you get full chain crowbar, spaz 12, 32 bullets, 10 stake, and 600 dollars. So let's go to Gangster. No, 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 it's homie. Uh, so you can use lower rank perks, but no, ki no, ki not kits, as it said in Thug over there. You can do slash near and slash hat. You can do slash kit homie for full iron armor, a golf club, AK-47, 32 bullets, 15 stake, and one thousand dollars. Let's move on to Gangster here, and you can use. Rank perks, but not kits, as it says in Homie and in Thug over there. Uh, you have access to P time, which changes the time. You have a Harrier strike when you do slash Kate gangster, gangsta, full P one iron, Project one iron, katana, A W M sniper, thirty two bullets, thirty stake, one thousand five hundred dollars, and you get three times. The high speed car boosts. Also, you get a cluster bomb. So let's move on to mobster. You can use lower rank perks, but not kits. Access to each chest slash feed. Uh, and also, when you buy mobster, make sure you do not have a full inventory before you buy this because you're going to get a one time only twenty thousand dollars and an Olympia shotgun. So make sure you're you're um. Your inventory is not full, so an Olympia looks like this. What I have here, and my my um my hot bar, it's the all these five Olympias right here that are diamond shovels. So what you get for Kit Monster is full Project Three Iron Armor. Uh, I don't know. Oh, Smite Two Katana AWM Sniper, two thousand five hundred dollars, thirty two bullets, AK forty seven, thirty two bullets for. The 32 bullets for the AWM sniper and 34, 32 bullets for AK-47. You also get one singularity grenade, which I don't think works in this server because many people have been like spawn trapping and like spawn killing people, which is pretty unfair to the game and to the people playing the game. Uh, also, what you get with Kip and Lobster is Molotovs and 10 bandages. So I don't think Molotovs do work, but like. Like, it's like a small splash, so it doesn't really do anything. Um, it's pretty much it. Uh, so yeah, as you guys can see, the whole entire spawn has changed. I don't think, I don't think hub, oh, slash hub, I don't think that's changed. Nope, that has not changed a little. Uh, still server 10 is unblocked and server 3 is blocked to all you people so it kind of sucks it's down for maintenance sorry to all you people who play in server 3 
So yeah, let's go back into this server one, and I have pretty much covered up everything in the server, and for some reason I spawned right here. Um, so yeah, let's go, oh, someone dropped a low car boost. Uh, this has changed quite a lot as well. This is actually showing you all the cheat codes that you can buy. So for $10, you get a minigun. $7, you get a flamethrower, what I have here. Flamethrower. It works very well, so I do suggest getting it. Uh, the minigun holds 450 bullets, and flamethrower holds 75 bullets. Uh, the jumper is alright. I have one, but I don't use it as much. I use my jetpack, and I'm soon to be getting a um, ender staff. This is a bazooka. Uh, it only has one bullet, but it's unlimited, so you can keep on using it, and it's very powerful. So I do suggest getting that one as well. It's only $10, and a needler for $9. It's like the needler from Halo 3, where you shoot it, and it explodes once once uh, you have shot enough bullets. This is a player hook. This is a new one. So uh, it's $12. All it does is you, it's like a, it's like a fish, fishing rod and you throw it at someone and if it hits someone you can pull them back and you can kill them if they're running away from you. This is also a new one, the Reaper Crossbow. It's only $25. It has one shot per every six seconds that it reloads. It's also pretty good, um, Good crossbow. It's like the best crossbow. It's like a two-hit kill on non non-armored people. With with leather, it does two hits. Iron, it does two hits. Unless it's like unless like the iron's enchanted, it'll do like three hits. Diamond does like seven to eight hits, and there's six seconds per each reload. So the person might have like some bandages. So you might not have a good advantage on that. The chainsaw, I've never used this. It is the shears. Uh, it has 200 ammo. I have no idea how long it takes to reload, but it's like, it's, um, it's unlimited ammo. The ray gun is $8, and it only has 10, it only has 10 ammo. Um, here's the ender staff that I'm going to buy. It has five throws. It pretty much teleports you to wherever you're looking. So like this, like this, like this. I don't know. And then here's the jetpack, the one I have. It has a six second reload with 30 ammo. It is $16. I do recommend getting this one. Uh, it's pretty awesome. So let's move on to the last one. Least, last but not least. The pepper spray, which is $6. And it only, like, it shoots the person with, like, it pretty much does what it says. Like, it's a pepper spray, like, from real life. And then it, it, uh, you can shoot the person, and they will be stuck in one spot. They cannot move, and they will have blindness. So everything just looks black around them, and they can't see, and they're just stuck in one spot while you have the advantage to kill them. And... That's it's pretty good to get their money and all their stuff. So that's pretty much it. Um, nothing has changed around here. I can do slash home. Uh, nothing has changed much. Oh. Um. Okay, you guys didn't see that. Okay. Um. Oh. Uh. Nothing has changed. I wonder if I have my. Oh. Here's the Molotovs. They still do work, as you guys can see. It's like a flame. Whee. Wee, 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 wee. I really don't like those. But if you guys enjoyed this video, please smack the like button, comment, and even subscribe if you're down there. For more GTA, MC content, and Minecraft content. So yeah, please like, comment, and subscribe for more. As always, stay awesome, and peace out.